beat em up games, one of the best genres there is in video games. Now, this is a fair warning. I'm not putting any NES beat em up games in here because I already made a video about that. So take that Nintendo Entertainment System. Okay, I'm just kidding, I love you, but here we go with my favorite to the top beat em up games ever in existence. Number five. Yes, Final Fight. Well, any version, really. The only way to truly play this game is to play as Hagar. Now, some of the other characters in the game were more relatable, for sure, but Hagar had that sweet mustache that poor little Riff couldn't grow when he was a kid. And he still can't grow up for the life of me, sheesh! The industrial music in this game, mixed with some of my favorite sound effects, has always stood out to me. The version I particularly played the most was the Super Nintendo version. It's funny because most beat-em-up games are way better and much more enjoyable with two players, but the SNES version of Final Fight, which I always played, was only single player. That's only single player, right? Hey, right? Ricky, check that for me. If you want a fun little romp in the world of beat-em-ups, you gotta try this out. As if you haven't already. Number four. Oh, baby, boom, boom, pow, chicky, pow, pow, pow. Talk about a game to get your little self feeling yoked and manly. Sorry if you don't want to feel yoked or manly, but Golden Axe to me is the staple way to play games with the whole dragons, warriors, castle feel. Golden Axe is a side-scrolling beat-em-up and a little bit of a hack and slash arcade game, but again, I wasn't playing this game mostly on the arcade, just like the previous one. I was playing it on a home console, and for me, that was the Sega Genesis. Golden Axe has never been super flashy in any way, shape, or form, but it always did the job, and if anything, its lack of special or unique graphics may have what been lended to its more rugged feel and interesting look. A little fun fact I love about this game is that it was responsible for the creation of Altered Beast. I didn't know that I just found that on Wikipedia while I was looking things up. I was like, Come at me! Mm, number three. Nelly, Sweet Joker's Giblets. I love Batman Returns for the SNES. Talk about the ultimate feel for a Batman game. Super dark atmosphere, super low key music, and clowns at every corner to keep you busy. I am definitely a Batman fan. Heck, if I'm being totally honest with everybody, I'm not really a superhero guy at all. Like, I really don't like any superheroes, honestly. But Batman, he freaking rocks. I have said it so many times when talking about beat em ups, but the whole punch and hit effects are so key to making a good beat em up game, and this game, well, it brings it. I always love throwing the enemies straight into the glass windows. Mmm, bam. It just felt so right. Oh, and all those like really tall clowns on stilts, they always scared me. Number two. What a game to discover in more recent years, and wow, it's awesome. So this is the only one for me on this list that I didn't know existed until later on in life. Maybe about five years ago or so, Ricky and I really started getting into buying arcades and main machines, and we would just randomly select games that we never saw before. And when we saw a game called Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, Sweet T-Rex, we happened to stumble upon such a great game. The game really plays just like a solid beat-em-up, checking off the good game checklist, rockin' tunes, rad sprites, standard cool characters and freaking Cadillacs and dinosaurs. <laughs> move on with this list, I already feel stupid because honestly, have you ever looked at a complete list of beat-em-ups? There is like seriously a hundred more stellar beat-em-up games that I want to point out, but okay, I, I can't do them all, so I'm picking mine, and this is a fair warning. No, number one isn't Turtles or Streets of Rage. You can take it up with my lawyer. Number one! How could I choose anything else 
but The Simpsons arcade game. Okay, but for real, The Simpsons is hands down my favorite show of all time. And at the time, Konami was one of my favorite companies cranking out the God level games. So there was no doubt that this game would go down as one of the greats for me. Saving Maggie from the bad Mr. Burns, smacking enemies with skateboards, fists, jump ropes, and vacuum cleaners never had been so sweet. And oddly enough, I always enjoyed the random little in-between stages where you would pump the hot air balloon thingies with air. I don't know, it just did it for me. The wonderful colors of blues and yellows mixed in with the dash of Konami brilliance was enough to send me to happy land. And I have not returned. Okay, but but really though, is there a better beat em up out there, honestly? There isn't. You know there isn't. Tell me a better beat em up. Do it. Tell me one. Tell me a better beat em up game. You won't find one. Nope. Not a better beat em up game. Did you find one yet? You haven't found one. They don't exist. The best one.